All right, so we have a, an electron um, and it's hit by an X-ray of a photon out of energy, um, five times 10 to the, 10 to the four EV, and it, we know it gains three 10 to the three EV, and we want the wavelength of the scattered photon. Um, and so I think you can do energy conservation on this. Uh, so basically if, um, if the electron is gaining three 10 to the three energy, that means the photon, the, um, and it must come from the energy of the photons in the system, which is the, the one X-ray. And so we can say the energy of the, the output photon is five 10 to the four minus three 10 to the three. So we can say E is equal to 5.0 times 10 to the four EV minus 3.0 times 10 to the three EV. I'm just gonna double check, 10 to the five, 10 to the four, three, 10 to the three. And then with the wavelength, so that's gonna be the energy. Um, so if we wanted the wavelength, we know E is equal to HC over lambda. And then we, to use this, um, if I'm gonna use all SI units here, I wanna convert this to joules. So I know that there's 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules per EV. So multiplying these two will give me my total energy. And then I know lambda is equal to H C over E. <clears throat> and so, yeah. So 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 times three times 10 to the eight. And we want to divide that by the energy, which was um, five times 10 to the four minus three times three, to three times 10 to the three. Times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And let's just double check everything. So I get 2.6 times 10 to the minus 11 nanometers or meters, sorry, 